This is MJ and I'm going to be showing you how to make these really nice cozy dishcloths for your kitchen. I'm using Yarnspirations Bernat Handicrafter Cotton. So and I've purchased the large size balls to make these cloths. I have one large ball of Sky, which is a really, really nice turquoisey blue color and I also purchased a large ball of salt and pepper which just works up really really nice and it goes great with my kitchen because I have the blues but you could border this cloth in any color uh, to coordinate with your kitchen or do multi-color um, for a nice bright look I'm using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and just one strand of our Bernat Handicrafter cotton and it's a worsted weight 4 and I'm using the color salt and pepper. Begin by making a slip knot, put it on your hook and we're going to chain 32. And just make sure your chain's not too tight. Okay, so I've made my 32 chains and now we'll work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So there's one, two, one single crochet, and now we're gonna work a double crochet. So yarn over, go through the same chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're gonna skip the next chain and in the next chain work one single crochet and one double crochet. Skip the next chain, work one single crochet and one double crochet in the next chain. Skip the next chain, work one single crochet and one double crochet. And we're gonna repeat this all the way across until we have two chains remaining and then I'll meet you out. Okay, so I just have my two chains remaining. So we skip the next and then just one single crochet in the last chain. So you'll have 31 stitches and then we'll turn and chain one. In the very first stitch, work one single crochet and work one double crochet. Skip the next stitch, which is our double from our previous row, and then work into the single from the previous row, the next stitch. One single and one double in that same stitch. And now we'll skip the next stitch, which again is the double. You can tell because it's much bigger and work our single and double in the next. And we'll repeat this all the way across our row. And I'll meet you back up when we get to our last stitch where we'll just add one single crochet. Okay, so I've worked all the way across. I have my two stitches remaining. Skip the stitch and work one single crochet into the final stitch. We'll turn and chain one and just repeat the exact same thing along this row. One single, 
one double into the first, skip the next stitch, work one single crochet, and one double in the seam stitch. So at this point, our work should be measuring about 10 inches. It's a little shy, but what you want to do is just pull it out because it will stretch as we work. So we're there, we're 10 inches, and you just want to keep working until you have 10 inches because we want a complete square. So just work until you reach that 10 inch mark and then I'll meet you back up again and show you how to finish off this dishcloth. So I've worked up my cloth until it's about 10 inches by 10 inches. So however wide your cloth is, you want to crochet the same as the width. So mine's 10, so I needed to do up to about 10 inches. So if your gauge is a little off, you just wanna make sure that you're perfectly square. So when you get to the end, I want you to add three single crochet to that corner in every corner around. So you're just gonna to wanna to work one single crochet in each stitch around. I work through this space and then where it's a little thicker there I'm working through that space as well. So just evenly all the way across and at each corner I'll add three single crochet. So I'm just going to keep working and I'll meet you when I get to the next corner. Okay, so when you get up to the corner, you just want to make sure you add three single crochet to the corner. And then just continue working single crochet evenly up the side. Okay, so when you get to the end, back to where we started, just slip stitch, and then we'll fasten off. And at this point, you can just now take all of your ends and weave them in. So it's always good to weave thread your yarn in one direction and then weave it back in the opposite direction. And going in the opposite way will secure it. Okay, so at this point I just went and weighed the cloth and it's about 60 grams. So you, if you're buying the small balls, to have a 10 by 10, you will need more than one ball. So if you wanted to keep this within a small ball, you could reduce the size, maybe make it nine by nine or eight by eight, just to keep it within one ball. But for me using the large balls, I can get a nice big large uh, cloth, which is what I wanted. And I can get out of one of these big balls about six dishcloths. So I'm happy with that. So next what we want to do is work on the border. Okay, so I'm using my sky. And you can either join into any stitch or you can join into your corner. I think I'm going to join a 
over here. Really any space is fine. You're going to slip stitch and then work one single crochet across until we get to that remember how we did three single crochet in the corner the middle one we want to make our corner now so we're, we'll put one single crochet chain two one single crochet into our corner and then you'll continue to single crochet all the way across until we get to the next corner and then we'll put one single crochet chain to one single crochet in each corner around okay so I've worked over here to my next corner again so in the corner one single crochet chain two and one single crochet all in the same stitch and now again we'll just keep working across in single crochet stitches until we reach the next corner okay so once you get all the way around you want to slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join chain one and I've made a nice little ridge on this border so to do that you want to work in the back loops only it's hard to push through the first one but if you look this is our stitch here and we have our front loop and our back loop so you're just going through the back loop only and by doing that it leaves the front loop unworked and gives it that nice little ridged effect effect so when we get to the corner we're going to work into the chain two space work one single crochet chain two and one single crochet all in the chain two space and now we'll continue to work in the back loop only all the way around and when you reach the next corner you'll work one single crochet chain two one single crochet Okay, so I've worked all the way around. I'll slip stitch again. And to finish our cloth off, I'm going to do one final round and it's going to work the exact same way. We're going to work in the back loop only. And when we reach the corner, we'll do the same one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Here's our corner. And if you want to make a thicker, wider border, you can just continue in the same method. Just continue increasing until you're happy with your border width. But to get this look, you'll do three rows or three rounds. in our blue color so I'm just gonna finish this off and fasten off and weave in my ends and that's all you need to do to make one of these 
nice big farmhouse style washcloths. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish off with a folding idea. You can fold it up however you want. This is just a fun little way, if you're giving it as a gift, so that you can see the color. Fold in your sides. Just roll it up. You can cut up a piece of twine. would make a great party favor on your table or Christmas gifts, teacher gifts. There we go.